Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create a pool of uh, desktops. So, uh, when someone connects to your connection server, what he does is it assigns each user uh, the desktop, which is again um, already created by the uh, Horizon server and it will be assigned to that particular user once he logs in. So let's see how that happens. So you want to create a, a set of desktops. If you see, go to inventory, once you log in to your connection server, go to desktop and here you see add desktop pools. So I'm going to click add and automated desktop pool. You can see here RDS des manual desktop. So you click here the i that is the information you can see what is the automated desktop pool so here you see it's instant clone and uh, this is not physical of course and the lot of pcie uh, pc over ip is supported here uh, supported features this is an automated desktop pools user uh, uses a vcent server template or virtual machine snapshot to generate new machine the machine can be created when the pool is created or generated on demand based on the pool usage, right? So that's what is the automated desktop pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that desktop pool here. Next, click next. And uh, this is I'm going to do instant clone. Again, if you want to know what is instant clone, click here and it will be instant clone share the same base image which we just created uses less storage space than the full virtual machine. Instant clones are created using VMware technology. So if you want to do little uh, research on this, you can go to VMware site and see what is these technologies. But here, uh, that's not my intention to teach, but I just wanted to uh, show you how to create instant clones. So I'll talk more about that in maybe another, uh, another video. So here, if you want to create the full virtual machine using its own space, uh, own storage space, own image, everything separately. This is full virtual machine. So I'm going to create instant clone. This is a faster where this particular uh, instant uh, clone will be used where uh, the users are used, but they don't need a specifically uh, storage space to save their work. Uh, for This is most unlikely, unlikely for developers. Now, if you want to have developers use your um, um, VDIs, then this is not the right solution. Maybe the full virtual machine is for the developers. But if you want to have uh, some office users, so they, they want to use some of the applications just to uh, do their day-to-day -day office work, then Instant Clone will be really suitable for them. So I'm going to create Instant Clone here and go to Next. Uh, then I'll uh click floating and floating is something if you see here users will receive machine picked up randomly from desktop pool each time they log in and dedicated is it is dedicated for all one user all the time that means when uh, the user is logged in every time he logs in a particular vm will be assigned or uh, uh, that that particular vm will be assigned to him so it is a dedicated for user and this is floating it's a randomly picked up whatever is available so i'm going to create the floating one and here uh, if you are using vshan now vmware vshan you can click here i don't have vshan here i have a simple server with uh, uh, one data store because this is a small one so i'll just create do not use vshan and if you have two multiple um, data source you can use separate data stores for the replicat uh, os disks i don't have a separate one so i'll just not click here and go next here id and give some name so i i'll give win 10 instant clone and this is again display name is win 10 instant clone and access group is uh, if you have to have different um, <clears throat> you want to organize them differently for different users you can do it here 
by different folders. So I'll not do that here, access group and go to next. Uh, enable provisioning, yes. Stop provisioning an error, okay, yes. And naming pattern, uh, I'll give a win 10 instant clone IC uh, so that all the VMs will be created with the name starting with win 10 slash IC. Then it will be one, two, three, so on and so forth. Uh, provision machines on demand, yes. And start with a minimum of one, and I'll go up to 10, maybe. Uh, maximum size and spare is always one machine. That means the number of demand plus one. Always one will be ready for uh, logged in to be used by user. So whatever number of users we have, it will be always plus one. That much, uh, that many number of VMs would be there in the pool. Virtual device. This is mostly used for uh, uh, you, if you have like <coughs> trusted platform module. Uh, this is I'm not going to use. Next, then golden image vCenter server browse, and let's see. We have an image which I created, and just click it, select, and submit then snapshot so you see here yesterday I took one today one i'll take the today's one and submit and folder i'll put my folder here desktop submit and resource settings i'll put uh, home cluster this is my home cluster a resource pool in that I have created another resource pool horizon desktops submit and that's it and then now data stores um, I'll put I have only one data store submit and okay then network uh, okay so use the network settings from the selected snapshot so I'll not I'll particularly use my own and uh, that is here VM network for simplicity and I have two vCPUs 8, 8 gig of RAM one core and go to next that's it so state is enabled most of here I'll put as um, default enabled and connection server restriction none uh, I don't have to put any uh, session type desktop log of uh, disconnect never allow users I'll just put everything default go to next and here remote display protocol all other things you keep it allow session calibrations just put it enabled <clears throat> okay and so this is is the session calibration feature allows users of this pool to invite other users to join their sessions okay and next so here you see the domain vpnacom.com and ad container and i'll just browse it here I'll so I have already created some of the um, organizational unit here instant clones I'll put that okay uh, image publish account and no other uh, required here just put that and we are good to go I'll put uh, next and that's it so here everything is here and submit you see here once you uh, submit that you will see here one of our desktop pool which i just created windows 10 instant clone pool will be created and entitlement is not there uh, we sent a server floating assignment uh, then just click the particular pool to know the details and you can see here you see this uh, this is the status will be like it is going on zero percent and state is publishing uh, we'll wait for uh, the time this will be called uh, this will state will be looking as published so where i if you uh, refresh it you can always see how much it is going on so it will take some time and uh, i'll come back uh, once this is over and it's 100 percent and this will be state will be change to published um, I'll just pause my video here and um, see you after this is over thank you